quite nice here actually. This is the British Airways first class lounge here at Terminal 3 at Heathrow Airport. It's quite a big day for me today because I'm actually facing, I wouldn't say my nemesis, but the last time I flew British Airways, I didn't have a particularly good experience. I was not expecting this. To be honest, I don't see the point in paying extra to get the same seat configuration you're gonna get in economy class. Worst ever business class experience. So we're flying into Prague in the Czech Republic today on an A320 again, but this time in economy. So I'm just gonna check out British Airways as a standard economy carrier to a destination in Europe. This is what they call the galleries lounge and you can get in here if you're flying British Airways and you're either traveling first class or if you're a One World Emerald frequent flyer. But it's a pretty decent lounge. There's a champagne bar just here. There's a kind of little a la carte dining area around the corner where we had breakfast just now. And there's a buffet bar as well, which I'll show you in a second where you can just help yourself to pastries breakfast things at the moment because it's just gone eight o'clock in the morning. One really cool thing about this lounge for av geeks alike, there's really good views actually over the tarmac here. So you can see one of this is the departure runway at Heathrow just in the distance. The other thing with um, your One World Emerald status is even though if you're flying on a British Airways flight like we are today, you can still get into the One World lounges here at Heathrow. So really quickly, just before we get on board the British Airways flight, I thought we'd quickly check out the new Qantas first class lounge here in Heathrow as well. This only opened in November last year, so it's not even a year old yet. And because there's no other Qantas flights going out at the moment, we kind of got the lounge all to ourselves. You know, I don't want to do like lounge reviews per se on this channel, I've never been into that. I like to show you guys what you can actually get when you go to some of these lounges and airports. So it's kind of like an experiencing rather than a review, but if I was to review this lounge and maybe do a comparison to other lounges, this is great. Really light and spacious, it's nice and bright. I'll be honest, I didn't actually try the food here, but just looking at the breakfast service they have, there's a good variety of food, and I know they do an a la carte service from 10.15 this morning. The lady was telling me up here in the restaurant and kind of dining area, there's an espresso machine, you can get espresso coffees, good bar, plenty of seating. Only thing I'd possibly say is there's not great views over the tarmac. The only view I can see over the tarmac is the one behind me. Stuck. <laughs> Sorry, I got stuck. us around um, the north of London at the moment. We just over flew Stansted Airport. I'm pretty sure that's quite a normal way to get out to the Czech Republic over the top of London and over East Anglia, 
kind of Essex that way and then over the water to continental Europe. Yeah, we're on board the A320 with British Airways. Uh, it's just about a two hour, two hour, five minute flight to the Czech Republic back on British Airways. As I mentioned in the last video, last time I was on BA in Club Europe, yeah, it wasn't the best experience I've ever had. I'll stick the link to the video up there. So if you haven't seen it before, just in economy this time, but towards the front of the plane. So row six, this is six A, B and C, the three of us traveling today with British Airways flights obviously you don't get a food or drink service for free you do get a food trolley that goes up and down and there's a like a Marks and Spencer's menu that you can choose food and drinks from but you need to pay so three sparkling waters some wasabi peas and something called Percy Pigs which nine pounds for all of those in Europe is nothing like flying in Australia is it? I love that you can take off, We've just had a quick snack, something to drink and we're already in another country. It's Holland down there. Good conditions though, should be a pretty smooth flight today. Did the um, turbulence forecast check as well using the turbulence forecast app which is always a good one, a tip actually, if you're flying with nervous passengers, pull up the turbulence forecast beforehand and just let people know where the turbulence is going to be. Because especially if you're doing longer flights, there are probably, the likelihood is there'll be some bumps along the way. And if there are, then it's always good to let people know, you know, roughly where you're going to hit the turbulence and how long it might last for. Descent now into Prague. It's just a short flight, just over two hours from uh, the UK over to the Czech. Ten minutes to land. The flight was fine, yeah, but the aircraft is great, staff are very nice. But you really do feel on British Airways nowadays like you're flying a low cost carrier. It doesn't feel like the national carrier airline that it used to be. To me, it just feels like I paid a cheap price and I'm jumping on a cheap airline just to get a cheap airfare into Europe. Kind of sad in a way. I kind of miss the glory days of British Airways. Thank you.